हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू कॉन्टैक्ट रूटीन ऑफ दिस कॉन्टैक्ट एम सी टू टू बी सो आई शो यू द प्रोसीजर हाउ टू डू इट एंड वॉट ऑल प्रिकॉशन वी टेक टू प्रिवेंट गेटिंग शॉक्स एंड प्रिवेंट डैमेजिंग द कॉन्टैक्ट सो स्टेट यून टू द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू चेक इफ द सर्किट इज डेड आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्विचड ऑफ and i have checked already there is uh, the circuit is not having any voltage so we have we have to check this whether we have any voltage over here and then we have to start disconnecting the main contacts and the auxiliary contacts behind which make the magnet for the contactor and we'll take this out of this and start the routine so as you can see we have disconnected all the contacts now we have to remove this contactor to, to do the maintenance and actually we can just remove the fuses as well for better safety so that there is no inbound current at all so now we'll just remove the contactor and sh i'll show you how to dismantle it and what to clean and what precautions to be taken care so to remove the contactor from this frame we have to push the contactor a little down and pull it from bottom so it would be from sideways i'll show you you have to push it down because there is a spring loaded uh, holder behind so that holds the contactor on the frame so you push it down and pull it like this so this is the contactor after removal so we'll we are going to dismantle this open everything and uh, clean the contacts so now to remove the contactor uh moving contacts from the contactor we have to just remove this up cover so now this is removed you can see so if you see to remove this full block we have to remove all the fixed contacts so that the upper block comes out very easily uh, so i'll just remove all the fixed contacts to remove the upper block from the lower block and we can then we can see the moving contacts which may also require cleaning over here in this so now if you see we have total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 total fixed contacts and uh, we have already removed from this side and if we remove reveal the contactor these are the moving contacts which are spring loaded so if you see the 440 moving contacts are having this carbon deposit due to the spark generated when we are getting uh, the a uh, contact to work so to remove this we just have to push it behind turn it and just pull it out the spring may come out with it so no issues just take the spring be very careful do not damage the spring it's okay if it's coming out by itself but do not twist the spring because the spring tension is very important so now just push it behind you see i'm just pushing it behind and twisting and just pulling it out actually we don't have to do any contactor routine for the auxiliary contacts because uh, they carry only very little voltage so they don't generate that much amount of spark the own main contactors what we have to clean is the uh, contactors uh, sorry contacts which are carrying the major voltage which is 440 so we'll just do the cleaning so today i have this is fine emery it's just like a paper but a little rough uh, i guess it's 2000 grade so we have this emery paper one emery paper and we have a contact cleaner contact cleaner with using this we'll clean the contacts moving contacts as well as these are the three moving contacts these are the three moving contacts as well as the fixed contacts we'll clean uh, after that i'll explain you 
how this contactor works basically what happens it's just very simple actually it's very simple it's uh, it acts like a magnet when uh, the uh, voltage is given over here this coil inside will generate a magnetic field and uh, this core will be pressed against each other so the contacts the moving contacts will connect with the fixed contacts it's better to understand when i'll fix it back i can show you how it works so now we'll clean this with emery try to keep it on a flat surface so that you do not uh, make uh, this surface uh, bulgy from one side make it uniform just rub for some time with light hand and I guess all the carbon will be gone from this so you see it's like new do not rub more because the distance between the moving contact and the main contact will increase if you remove all of the material from this so we'll repeat the process for all the six so now if you can see all the six fixed contacts are cleaned all the three moving contacts are cleaned you, you can see this groove inside if there is no groove then it's time to change the moving contacts all the moving contacts will have a groove like this or some kind of like plus or something which shows the material damage if there is uh, too much of material gone from this you have to change the moving contacts so now we'll use this contact cleaner so we try to use a contact cleaner which do not have any uh, residue left over most of the contact cleaners are uh, like they have some residue build up so we'll try to remove <coughs> this try to use the contact cleaner as little as possible and try to use it after you clean it because uh, before you clean if you use it then it's of no use anyhow you have to rub it against the sandpaper later on so now it's ready to be used again um, I'm just cleaning it with a uh, normal good clean cloth so that any carbon deposit remaining can be removed so we try to keep it as clean as possible we cannot make it brand new but at least we can remove most of the carbon deposit so that there is no chattering yeah uh, how do you know that a contactor needs a contact cleaning uh, is when you listen to a chattering sound from the contactor or it comes in your routine a six monthly routine so this one was giving a chattering sound so i overall it sometimes uh, we don't do the contactor so regularly because uh, we don't want to remove all the material from the top so that it gets disoriented so now we have ready all the fixed contacts and the moving contacts now we'll assemble it back so to assemble it back try to fix the moving contact first we have if you see in the moving contact there is a bulge like this so you place your spring on this bulge press press it against and push it inside there is another bulge inside as well so you just press it a little more so that it compresses the spring and just push the spring inside you can use a screwdriver to push the spring against it So now you can, you can see this moving contact, you can see this moving contact is good to go, 
it's not misaligned it's good so we'll do the same for all the three just be very careful with the spring it can get misplaced anytime it's better you place it like this push the spring up below inside So this is second one is done you can try this as well just push this moving contactor inside like this then just bring, okay. just bring this over here tilt from behind moving contact so that the spring does not fall off okay then just press the spring in and push it again against the bulges you can use a screwdriver to flatten this up push it so now all the three moving contacts are okay you can see the spring tension all the three are okay so now I'll show you how it works there is one more spring which holds this core this core inside when there is magnetic field generated due to these two contacts these are two contacts which are connected with the solenoid inside which creates a magnetic field this metal core when it gets magnetized this metal core goes inside and the moving contacts connect with the fixed contacts so fixed contacts will be like this and it will make so we'll box, box it back I'll show you how to assemble it back again so the same process just in reverse we put this cover back so that this is fixed we just clink it inside everything so now this is fixed we put back these contactors Okay, to put back the main contactors just you have to slide this in like this just slide this in and push it push it and you can just press with a screwdriver to fix it in place now this is fixed same process for fixing all so after fixing everything you have to make sure that all the fixed contacts and the moving contacts are lined up now we check whether this one is okay or not so to check we put the multimeter in ohmic values or continuity test it doesn't matter we check for continuity if there is sound coming when we are pressing okay so what i'm doing is i'm connecting these two and i'm pressing this okay this is okay the same process for this as well okay same process for this as well okay now we check these two are okay it's because this is normally closed it should be made like this this is normally open no sound for this we press okay so 
all the contacts are okay now we connect this back because there was no connection for this so now this is ready we will fix it back now to fix it back i will show you how to fix this system back we do the vice versa we first place it on the top first then we press it in and push it so now this contactor is fixed now we fix this back we fix this back i guess that's done that's done now we reconnect everything and hopefully there won't be any chattering sounds anymore okay thank you for watching this video have a good day bye bye